Organizers for last night's abortion rights protest did not get a permit from police for the event. However, the Sioux Falls Police Department still tried to keep everyone safe as they expressed their First Amendment rights. Kettle Lands Lauren Solick takes a look at why having a permit to protest can help law enforcement. When people gather to rally, march, or protest for their beliefs, police say having a permit to do so can help officers be prepared to keep everyone safe. We don't care what people want to protest. We don't care what awareness they want to raise. We've seen examples of people not paying attention and driving into crowds of people. Something like that can be prevented, and you know that's the safety plan that we have in place. Sam Clemens with the Sioux Falls Police Department says there is a city ordinance that requires permits for groups of 25 or more people who plan to protest or assemble. We've never turned anybody down for a permit. We've tweaked some things, maybe like the location or you know, um, I guess how they're planning, whether it's like a march, uh, something like that. Of course, even with a permit, set plans could always change. I mean, we don't expect people to know exactly how many numbers, how many are going to show up, but it gives us an idea. And again, it's that planning stage where you're going to be, how you're going to protest, um, you know, and, and it kind of makes us aware if, in case we need to adjust. Clemens says knowing about a protest ahead of time can also help police if tensions and feelings get high. You may have people that have that opposing viewpoint that are looking just to show up and cause problems and stir things up. So if we know this is going to happen, we can plan that ahead of time so both groups would be able to exercise their right, give their free speech, give their points, but in a manner where it's not going to conflict with the two. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. Clemens says anyone looking to get a permit to protest can call the police department to start the process.